Yo, you must be Masato. An Oni? Oh no, not another one! Oh, uh, yeah. Not the one that robbed you, though. So, uh, <laughs> chill. I contacted you before, remember? I need your help. Oh, uh, right. Sorry. I'm still a bit on edge after the incident. <clears throat> so anyway, here's what happened. I was just out transporting some goods when a group of Ronin suddenly attacked me. It's not the first time that's happened to me. Usually, you just hand over some Mora and they'll leave you alone. At least you don't lose your goods that way. But this time was different. They weren't willing to talk things over. Instead, they took my things and they started coming for me! Huh? That's totally uncalled for! I got down on my knees and begged. Said I had a family to care for and that my business is our only livelihood. And then I saw that there was an Oni among the group. I thought he was going to be the one to finish me off. But instead, he stopped the others and told them to let me go. Yeah, that got them all arguing with each other. His cohort said that I was sure to retaliate if they released me. But the young Oni was insistent that they shouldn't lay a finger on me. Things got real heated. I thought they were going to come to blows. Luckily, they let me escape with my life in the end. And I scrambled to get myself here, where I'd be safe. <sighs> I never want to set foot outside of here again! So he'll steal, but he won't harm people. <laughs> Seems he has some sort of standards. Did he say why they were robbing you? Surely it was Mora, right? What else could they have wanted with me? I mean, I can't say for sure, it's not like I asked. But what I did hear them say was... The goods are worth more than the merchant's life. Or something like that. Ugh, that idiot Oni. Do you have any idea where they went after they robbed you? I have no clue. But I think they're pretty active in the Tatarasuna area. You aren't gonna go after them, are you? Seriously, I'd advise against it. There are too many of them and they're all heavily armed. Ah, don't worry. It's just a bunch of no-name scumbags. I got a whole laundry list of scores to settle with them. If these two islands are where they tend to hang around, we're sure to run into them at Nazuchi Beach sooner or later. They gotta pass through here sometime. Let's just hang tight for a while. If I'm not mistaken, they'll be showing up any time now. Yeah, things might get a little rough, so we better be prepared. Oh, here they come! Yeah, there they are. And one of them has horns. All right, it's go time. Let's get them! Looks like you fellas aren't going down without a fight. Fine by me. Let's fight first, talk later. Wait! Okay. Ah, ah. Yeah. 
Don't even think about running. It's me, Arataki Ito, descendant of the Crimson Oni. <laughs> I know who you are. From the day we are born, every blue Oni knows their purpose. We all know our fate is one of self-sacrifice. But what about the Crimson Oni, hmm? You don't know anything about us. Not our miserable history, or any of our names. Mine's Takuya, by the way. But you don't even care, do you? Because those who get sacrificed should be forgotten, right? No, you're wrong. I never knew the Blue Oni had survived to this day, and the moment I found out, I was determined that I would find you. Since you remember the pact between our two factions, I assume you also remember the pride we share as Oni. So my question is, how could a proud Oni like yourself go and abuse the weak and plunder the innocent? Why break the oath that our kind swore all those years ago? <laughs> huh? What's so funny? Who are you to talk about pride and oaths with me? The Blue Oni gave up everything just so the Crimson Oni could live peacefully in human society. But let me ask you, Arataki Ito, what exactly do you contribute to human society? You're a blundering fool who can't hold down a real job, a laughingstock of the town, and worse still, you let them get your vision during the vision hunt decree. Protecting the Oni pride? Ha! Huh. You wouldn't know how if you tried. You're a disgrace to the Oni kind. Hey, come on. None of that stuff's a big deal. I, I mean... <laughs> you're... you're really hanging me out to dry here, man. Since when do you care what other people think? You just do whatever you want. It's not like anyone can stop you. But do you have any idea of the kind of life my kin and I have lived while you've been hanging around in human society? We were cut off from the rest of the world. We severed all contact with it. And since then, we've had no place to live, no stable source of food, no clothing, no medicine, nothing. Besides the oath we swore to uphold in our so-called Oni pride, we had nothing. So that's why you joined a band of thieves? That's right. Why should I accept that life? Is holding fast to a worthless oath supposed to help me provide for my family and friends? I've abandoned our Oni pride. It's meaningless. I want to live. I've given everything that I've stolen from humans to my community. What I've taken will at least keep them from starving and ease their pain. That's what matters most to me. Yeah! Besides, the Blue Oni sacrificed themselves so that Oni could be accepted as part of human society. If people see Oni causing trouble again, then that'll defeat the whole purpose of the sacrifice you made! <laughs> you make a good point. But Arataki Ito's the one who needs to get that into his thick skull. The Blue Oni are the bad guys, so we're expected to do bad things. Our actions won't tarnish the reputation of the Crimson Oni. Unless, of course, this bonehead decides it'd be a great idea to take all the blame for himself, completely destroying the trust between humans and the Crimson Oni in the process. He's the one that wasted the sacrifice we made. Huh? Well, I only had to do that because of you! I couldn't just stand back and let the Tenryo Commission drag you away! You should get your priorities straight. The Blue Oni are history, alright? Forget about us. The Crimson Oni are the ones who must live on. Why couldn't you have just stayed out of this? There they are! Seize them! Oh no! It's the Tenryo Commission! <sighs> Forget it. This was a waste of time anyway. Look, 
I don't expect you to understand me, but you could at least take a look in the mirror sometime. Hey! Hey! Well, he got away! Uh-oh! We need to get out of here, too! <clears throat> we can't get caught here. Looks like I'm up to bat. Just wait here, and we'll escape together when the time's right. Whatever you do, don't attack any of the Tenryo Commission, or they'll be after you too. Battle formation! Let's hear it. Soldiers, quick! Uh, 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 Come on, man! He won't get away this time. Just give yourself up, Arataki Ito. I won't forget this. Man, they really came out in force today. I'm kind of flattered the Tenryo Commission sent so many. But I still haven't completely recovered from the bean attack earlier. I'm starting to lose my edge here. No, no way. All that would do is send them after our blue Oni friend instead. But I have to settle things with him first, man to man. Then what should we do? The Tenryo Commission's about to arrest you! Uh, no choice but to keep kicking some Tenryo butt! Hey, boss! Thought you'd have all the fun without us? Granny Oni sent us. We're here to lend a hand. Maybe we can't take him, but we can sure slow him down. Now's your chance! Go! Hey, I told you to stay out of this one. Well, we're in it now. Come on, there's no time! Go! Do what you gotta do, boss! <laughs> All right, then. Watch yourselves. As Soon as I'm done, I'm coming back for you. Come on, you two. Time to roll! Don't let them get away! After them! Hey! You guys want some of this? There's plenty to go around. Run for it, boss! As boss of the Arataki gang, getting rescued by my own boys feels... Pretty humiliating. I promise to never let you down, boys. All right, we've got some footprints to follow. Let's find Takuya. It was real touching and all what they did, but those few guys weren't much of a gang. Hey, it takes Mora to run a gang, okay? They're all I've got for now. <laughs> 